county innovation hubs. They're seeing on the ground issues which can be fixed by IoT, so they're very keen on these things. The technology is very accessible. They introduced us to the Cage Farming Fisheries Association to improve the way fishing is done and improve some of the economics around fishing. The demand for fish in Kenya is more than what our farmers are currently producing. And one of the farmers in Lake Victoria came to us and said that the fish production can easily be increased by either reducing your cost of production or increasing the productivity of your fish. And that's determined by the quantity of food that you feed your fish, the quality of food, and the frequency that you feed your fish. A small-scale farmer living in the rural area who basically feeds his fish based on a conventional method where the normal practice is you take two kilograms of feed, put it on the pond, and expect the fish to grow over a period of time and harvest, has a lot of challenges with that because one, he doesn't know how to calculate exactly how much feed he should be feeding, and often either the feed is wasted or the fish is underfed. There are very important parameters for every fish farmer to measure uh, to, that determines how long the fish takes in the pond or in the cage and uh, also the cost of production. So this is uh, water temperature, saturated oxygen, and the pH. And currently the farmers had no way of measuring these parameters. So we thought about using sensors to communicate this information. We obtained some sensors and we've had them packaged locally so that we can use them. And we went down there on a trip to help them install. The most a viable way of doing this is if it can be accessed through a mobile phone, hence they need to develop a mobile app. We have an innovation called AquaReach. AquaReach is a mobile app based technology that basically is supposed to improve the productivity of small scale fish farmers in order for them to be competitive with the market. So the technology brings on board three industry players in the fish value chain. These are the fish farmers who are key for production, the input suppliers, and the traders. The app basically records the cage profile, where we have the amount of fish in each cage. Anytime there's mortality, it's recorded, so the, the app basically calculates the number in real time of fish we have in each cage. We see a situation where the IoT system in aquaculture is going to revolutionize and support over 35,000 fish farmers in Kenya that are currently existing. Fish farming is just one opportunity that sensors can be used to improve farming. So LACAB is looking into different agricultural value chains, working with uh, beekeepers or potato farmers to detect diseases early enough. The application potential is enormous. LACAB is setting up an IoT lab, and Liquid Telecom is one of the partners that will provide the infrastructure, the skills, that entrepreneurs and developers need to build more IoT solutions. Working with a partner like Liquid is important because as much as we want to have IoT solutions developed for small-scale farmers, we're always thinking about scalability. And Liquid Telecom is a Pan-African company, meaning it's able to open linkages to other markets. We expect that the IoT device count is going to exceed the number of people in Kenya we think within three years, so we're looking at 45 million devices, that is the potential. And we see that the outcome of that is that people will be doing business better, their agriculture will be more productive, we see less stock losses going on in the supply chain, improvement in housing and safety. These are the outcomes we're expecting to see from IoT in Kenya.